All right. This cute little creature here came in with some signs of sinusitis. They saw some bubbles coming from the nose. Um, I didn't really see any bubbles, but there is some moisture there. So I took my slide and gingerly pressed it against his boogers and got some samples. Then we went and dried them, stained them, dried them again, looked at them at a thousand times humidification. And I am seeing three, yeah, three different types of bacteria, two cocci and, are in, in a, wait a minute, two rods on a cocci. I'll get that straight one day. I still haven't had a cup of coffee. That's my excuse. All right. Um, in the fecal, we saw several different species of uh, protozoa. Uh, one's just uh, kind of one of those commensal things that we think doesn't help with their stool much. And the other one, we actually saw some histomonas. And he's not moving because I'm holding him still. <laughs> mean guy that I am. But uh, we're going to get a weight. We're going to start him on some medications. Oh, and he also has hookworms. So uh, this particular species does not do well here in this area because of the humidity. They almost always have respiratory tract infections. Um, but uh, this is this first guy's, you know, uh, stint here. So at this point in time, we're just going to go ahead and treat him for his internal parasites and the upper respiratory, and hopefully he will never see him again. Uh, that is all I can add for today. We'll recheck him in about a week to two weeks. All right. Later, little buddy. Oh, yeah, Mom said no culture today. So we're going to try the antibiotics first, and in theory, it should take care of at least two of the three bacteria. And if there's any left over and still some disease left, then we'll go ahead and do a culture then. Is that cool for you, little buddy? Yes. <laughs> That's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, you know, for some strange reason, I just don't get the same warm fuzzies I get from these guys. It's like, get <laughs> from our local species. And I probably shouldn't say that to his face. That's just wrong. All right, later. All right, in the other room, we have a, s <laughs> a small tortoise. And this is a fecal, one of the live samples. This is actually in about 100 times magnification which means it's actually rather large. There you go. That's at uh, 200 times. And if I go to 400 times, I'm going to miss it all together. Anyway, it's about to swim off the screen, so we tried to follow him for a while. Oh, come back, little creature. There you are, and he came back. Okay. Anyway, this is a protozoa. These guys usually aren't very pathologic, but uh, they can actually cause a little bit of a loose stool or sometimes take away from the nutrition that the animal is getting. Uh, obviously, this guy's ne probably never seen a vet before. Uh, so, anyway, that's what this guy looks like. And we will find some more pathology later on. But, anyway, this is uh, sample number one. Here's some more of this protozoa stuck in a small uh, empty space. For what? What's it on? Oh, it's a turtle fecal. <laughs> we are at 200 times magnification and uh, focusing in and out here you can actually see them all fighting to get out of that one hole and I call it a hole I mean imagine poop and it being like a sponge and trying to find your way in and through it between two pieces of glass that's what these guys are doing anyway so there's that and let's go to see if I can get a better View. This is at 400 times magnification. There you go. You can actually see tiny little cilia and stuff on the sides and flagella moving around and propelling them. Kind of cool. That's like beautiful. <laughs> anyway, that's 400 times magnification. We are closer then you, most of you will probably ever want to see these guys. Anyway, so uh, kind of awesome. These guys, again, are not very pathologic, but uh, you'd find these in ponds and all kinds of weird places. So this guy's actually had some questionable food supply in the past, but we'll look at him in a few minutes. And actually, right there by him, you can actually, oh, try to miss it. You can actually see some of the, uh, the true pathologic protozoa in here. We'll get to those in a second. That's cool.
All right, this is 400 times magnification. You're uh, watching this guy run around in here, and is he pushing or is he pulling? I cannot tell. Looks like this is going to be Histomonas. Histomonas and Trigomonas basically have the same morphologic um, size and shape. When you look at them under the microscope, the biggest difference is, is that the, uh, the flagella are on two different ends. Trigomonas will propel itself with the, uh, the flagella like a propeller. And the Histomonas tends to reach out, grab things, and pull itself around. And this looks like a puller. I cannot tell. I cannot focus. Anyway, so when I get this on a bigger screen, I'll be able to tell better. But uh, anyway, so that's what's actually causing this turtle's problem, or one of them. We have an, a cytology to do in just a second, and we'll get to that next. So anyway, our buddy actually has some several different protozoa in his store. All right, we have a small tortoise in the other room doing some cytologies here. The uh, sinus exudate. I'm seeing three different types of bacteria. So we're going to start them off with an antibiotic, and maybe she'll let me do a culture. We will see what happens from there. But we have some parasites to treat as well, so let's see how we respond and what she lets me to do. All right, that's it. Later.